let's discuss about ventricular diastole the first stage is protodiastole protodiastole is the first stage of ventricular diastole duration of this period is 0.04 seconds due to ejection of blood the pressure in aorta and pulmonary arteries increases and the pressure in the ventricles drop when intraventricular pressure becomes less than the pressure in aorta and pulmonary artery the semilunar valves gets closed the atrioventricular valves are already closed no other changes occurs in this period second heart sound the closure of semilunar valves during this phase produces second heart sound next stage is isometric relaxation during isometric relaxation period once again all the valves of the heart are closed now both the ventricles get relaxed intraventricular pressure decreases during this period when the ventricular pressure becomes less than the pressure in atria the atrioventricular valves open resulting in the filling of ventricles duration of isometric relaxation period is 0.08 seconds the next phase is rapid filling phase when the atrioventricular valves are opened there is a sudden rush of blood from atria into the ventricles ventricles also relax isotonically about 70% of filling takes place during this phase this phase lasts for 0.11 seconds third heart sound rushing of blood into ventricles during this phase causes the production of third heart sound next phase is slow filling phase after the sudden rush of blood the ventricular filling becomes slow now it is called slow filling phase it is also called diastasis about 20% of filling occurs in this phase duration of slow filling phase is 0.19 seconds let us discuss about last rapid filling phase this phase occurs because of atrial systole after slow filling phase the atria contract and push a small amount of blood into ventricle about 10% of ventricular filling takes place during this period flow of additional amount of blood into ventricle due to atrial systole is called atrial kick 